four times as many Greeks on Cyprus as there are Turks, and they're both our friends, and the Greeks been killing the Turks over there, and the Turks wanted to invade them, and we told them that you can't, and told the Turks you can't invade them, and we told the Greeks you've got to quit killing them. Well, and that's all right. That's, and that's, they, that's the way to handle it. And they both kind of got a little bit peeved at us, but we worked it out. The United Nations, and now they got a mediator, and we got it all settled. They, they're going to medi mediate it. In March 1964, a UN resolution ignored the political equality of Turkish Cypriots in Cyprus. As a result, for the next 50 years, Turkish Cypriots suffered from embargoes and isolation. 50 years. Five decades. Half a century. However you say it, 50 years is a long time. For 50 years, Turkish Cypriots have been isolated from the world. For 50 years, Turkish Cypriots have been second-class citizens. For 50 years, Turkish Cypriots have been denied direct trade. Denied economic development, international aid. Denied direct travel. Direct communications. Denied sporting and cultural links. From trade to communication. Travel to culture. Education to sport. We've been denied our equality. 50 years, five decades, half a century, a lifetime. It's time to right this wrong. It's time to remind the world that we exist. It's time to end 50 years of isolation. Fifty years of oppression faced by Turkish Cypriots. Nothing feeds this injustice more than our inaction. We call on you to join our movement for equality. Stand with us and all those who have an interest in North Cyprus. Let us unleash an army of writers on both Westminster and Brussels. Go to www.embargoed.org and download a template today. It takes five minutes of your time and it will make a real difference. Thank you.